Hello, dear Kyiv major visitors! We have decided to make a short Kyiv city travel guide to provide you with all the necessary information that will hopefully make your trip to Kyiv a bit easier. Most likely, you start your journey here at Kyiv Borispil Airport Terminal D, the main gateway, which is located 30 kilometers southeast of the city. The procedure of passport and border control is pretty standard. You need to be able to explain the aim of your visit and provide the details of your trip. For your information, insurance is not mandatory but advised to be taken out in advance because medical treatment in Ukraine is paid for foreigners. If you need some meds, look for the pharmacies signpost as apteka. You don't need prescription for the vast majority of drugs in Ukraine. So, after passing customs control, you proceed to this area and you need to get a ride to the city, so you either take a taxi or a bus. You may need to have some cash in local currency, there is a currency exchange point over here and ATMs over there. Make sure to call your bank beforehand to authorize your credit card for use on the territory of Ukraine. And please note, we do not accept American Express, only Visa and MasterCard. To save your money, always use bank affiliates or ATMs to withdraw cash in hotels, big malls or crowded places. Please note, there is no currency exchange point at the departure area, so make sure to get rid of all of your Ukrainian grievance before you go to the airport on your way back, or you will have nothing to do other than just spend off all of your money, Ukrainian money, in the duty-free. There is a free Wi-Fi in Kyiv Borispil Airport, in a few central metro stations, McDonald's and places like that, but there is no 4G or LTE internet available in Ukraine, only 3G, so we advise you to purchase a local SIM card. You may do it right at the airport and these guys will explain you all the details in English, of course. Taxi prices are cheap by world standard. If arranged at the desk, it will cost you about 400 grivnas, which is 15 US dollars. Uh, well, KBP used to have authorized taxi service with English-speaking personnel, and you pay directly to the driver after reaching destination point, and they also accept credit cards. You better stay out of random taxi drivers approaching you at the terminal exit. Those cabmen are, as a rule, unlicensed and would demand 5-10 times higher price, so just ignore them. The same goes with the city area. You better avoid sideway taxis because drivers usually don't speak English and cheat with prices. But if you happen to catch a cab on the street, always negotiate the fare in advance. But to my mind, the most preferable option is to use an Uber or a local taxi service such as Uklon. In this case, uh, the trip to the city will cost you only 300-350 grivnas, which is about 12 US dollars. If you're considering renting a car, we strongly recommend you to refuse this idea immediately. First of all, it's expensive. Secondly, you will constantly face the same problem – parking. And thirdly, it's way too stressful for you to drive around because of the poor road conditions and low level of culture from local drivers. Bus number 322, I'm not joking, connects Kim Bristol Airport with Central Railway Station, leaves outside of the terminal exit and runs every 15 minutes during daytime and every 30 minutes at night. It will take from you one hour to get to the city center depending on traffic jam and will cost you only 80 grivnas, which is about 3 US dollars. You can buy a ticket directly from the driver, but he accepts cash only and local currency only. Me. 
By far, taxi is the most convenient option for the tourists to get around, but not the only one. Kyiv has developed transportation system, but I'm gonna focus on subway only because another means of public transport are not that comfortable and might be too difficult for the foreigners uh, to navigate if they don't speak Russian or Ukrainian. Unlike Metro, where most of map signposts and stations names are translated into English, once on board, station names are announced through loudspeaker in both languages. No matter how far you go, one ride will cost you four agreements only, which is 15 US dollar cents. You can buy tokens from cash desks or from automatic ticket machine, but make sure to have small change for that. If you have MasterCard PayPass card, you may use it directly to get to the metro for the same fare to be charged, but through the yellow turnstile only. Kyiv metro is represented by three lines, red, blue and green, and Palace Ukraine, the venue and the station of the same name is located on the blue line. Stations are open from 6 a.m. till midnight. Uh, Palace Ukraine metro station is closing uh, 13 minutes past midnight. So after that, the only available option is taxi, so be sure to plan accordingly. As for the places where you can stay during your trip to Kyiv Major, apparently you'll be looking for something close to the venue or at least easy to reach. Therefore, consider right bank of the river with metro station nearby, ideally blue line, and with a proximity to the center somewhere in this area. Depending on the budget you possess, you may book hotel, hostel, or apartment. Uh, therefore, just check out booking.com, hostels, Expedia, Airbnb, whatever service you trust the most. But if you do not speak Russian or Ukrainian, we do not recommend you to use local services like Doba UA. If you can afford yourself a good hotel, pay your attention to Four Stars Hotel Holiday Inn. This one is a part of Intercontinental Hotel Group, known worldwide. It offers an excellent service, wide list of facilities and modern spacious rooms. Standard room will cost you about 130 US dollars per night. Moreover, it's just perfectly located, only 100 meters from beautiful St. Nicholas Cathedral and 10 minutes walk from Palace, Ukraine. Another good option just around the corner is El Favito modern, comfortable, four-stars hotel and prices starts from $90 per night. Participants of the last two-star ladder CSGO finals stayed here. There's a variety of hostels nearby open for Euro 2012 European Championship. Those are cheap and most of them pretty decent. Way much better than old-style Soviet hotels where you can come across poor service and the lack of renovation for the past 30 years. Though most of them been remodeled due date like this one, but check this out beforehand or at least manage to read reviews. Do not drink tap water. You're not gonna get poisoned, but the quality is not that good as in Sweden, let's say. Uh, if you're traveling from US or UK, make sure to have an electricity adapter. We have the same two-pin plug as most of European countries. So I hope you found this video useful for planning your upcoming trip to Kiev. Subscribe our channel to learn more about Kiev and Kiev Major.